Welcome to Destination Diana, your self-help learning library where we discuss all things self-help. Uh, we focus on self-improvement, self-esteem, self-confidence, self-love, everything that will help you be your best self. Yes, baby, I'm recording for my YouTube channel. Okay, thank you, babe. Thank you. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, as a follow-up to the two uh, Valentine's Day videos, um, please go watch those. I'll link those up there. If you haven't seen them yet, I made one tailored for the guys. Um, gift ideas for any budget and also a follow-up one for the ladies because the fellas said I needed to make one for them too. Um, so make sure you go watch those. But I wanted to do a video now on red flags. Um, usually red flags, you know, we see them, we, we are well aware of them, but we choose to ignore them because either we like a person so much, we're so interested in starting a relationship or we just want to go forward. So we don't want to admit that we see these red flags or that it's enough for us to want to put the halt or decide to go another way. Um, and I'm a firm believer that the red flags that you ignore in the beginning, those are going to be the same red flags that occur within the relationship that lead to the eventual demise. So obviously I can't cover all of the red flags, but I'm going to name some that come up often. Ones that I've heard from a lot of clients, ones that I've experienced myself, uh, ones that you know a lot of my girlfriends or family members have told me about. So yeah, I would say the number, well, I'm not gonna assign, uh, let me bleh, back that up. I'm not gonna assign a number to each one because I don't want people to think one is like more harmful than the other because it really depends on you. What's a red flag for you? What's a warning signal for you? Okay, baby, I'm recording, okay? All right, now you can go sit down and watch Princess and the Frog. Drink it at the table though. All right, thank you, sweetheart. So I would say a really important red flag is when you don't get along with the person's parents or their important family. Um, and it's not to say that you have to be best friends with the person's family, um, but I just think it proves to be very hard to have a relationship with someone who their family does not approve of you, they, they don't support your relationship. Because what happens when they don't approve of you or don't support your relationship, they encourage negativity, they create issues, um, and if you guys ever happen to be having a difficult time, they're not the voice of reason to remind you guys why you fell in love or why you're together or what's important. They are going to only help to divide you further. So you don't need that type of negativity. And it's pretty rare. You know, most people's family, they, they love whoever you love. They are going to support whoever you choose to be with. So if that's not happening... It's fine, Shelby. Let him just drink his juice, okay? So yeah, um, that's really important. That's a big red flag. Um, I would say another big red flag is how the person is with their children. Um, if the person doesn't spend a lot of time with their children, if they aren't financially contributing to the upbringing of their children, if they don't have a close-knit relationship with their children, that would be a warning sign. Um, because people's children are their everything. That's what they love the most. 
So if they can neglect their own flesh and blood, you better believe that you're eventually it could be the same for you. Um, that's a big warning sign, big red flag. Do not ignore that. Another red flag is um, 